Whew! How in the heck is it going, everybody? Gonna take these off and that's a little jingly. Been practicing. As you can tell from the title of this video, it is definitely goose related. Don't at all claim to be an expert. Don't really even claim to be good at goose hunting. We just really like to do it. We do it a lot. And here are the three tips, the number one three things that I personally believe will make you into a better early season goose hunter. Obviously, number one, you probably hear this in any any goose hunting video, any tip tutorial, any video where anybody even talks. And the number one thing is scouting. Obviously, you know, if, if, if you just are a weekend warrior, or you're just part of a, you know, a big group of guys that, uh, that go goose hunting and they do the majority of the work, that's fine. You just like to show up, bring your gun, bring your layout blind, shoot geese, perfectly fine. But somebody is doing the scouting if you're going on successful hunts. <clears throat> now, depending on where you are, we're obviously up here in the Upper Peninsula, so there's not that many goose hunters. So the farmers, landowners really don't get pressured too much, but still... Still, still, still firm believer on our strategy of asking permission. And that is going in, asking permission to use the farmer's land to help somebody else. Which is something that a farmer probably will never hear. Now obviously you have to come through on that promise if that's going to be the strategy you take. I feel like most people that ask permission to go, go to go goose or duck hunting or do any, any form of hunting, they walk up in the door, they say, hey, you know, how's it going? My name's so-and-so. I would like to hunt your property. Depending on your area, if you're down in Arkansas, Missouri, any of those, any of those heavily, the Dakotas, any of the heavily, heavily, heavily hunted areas, farmer might hear that 10, 15, 20 times in a day. If he doesn't stick a gun in your face or tell you to F off, he's going to tell you no. Our strategy is to, you know, we have a long list of kids and veterans and new timers for this season that are that would like to get into waterfall hunting, would like to rejoin us in waterfall hunting. So we go up, we say, hey, you know, my name's Scott Evans. We do this Hunters for Life thing. We help veterans, kids, disabled people, yada, 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 go out hunting fish. We would like to use your property to help other people. And they're always like, oh, okay, yeah, that's great. Sure. Tip number two. <laughs> This should be pretty self-explanatory, and uh, we've definitely we've definitely mixed messed up on this one. And that is, don't hunt with more people than you have blinds for, or you have room in the blind for. Probably one of the best opportunities we had last year. We had a, a field, cow pasture field, next to a giant pond that was getting hammered. I mean, there'd be a couple hundred honkers in the pond, a couple hundred in the field at a time. So my whole philosophy was, yeah, let's get everybody I know that can shoot a shotgun relatively straight. We're going to go out there. It's going to be great. We had like 12 guys, four layout blinds. Did have some camo netting that uh, we, we figured would work laying in a, a heavily used cow pasture. So the cover really wasn't that tall around us. And we ended up shooting, I think, like five or six birds. And we could have easily, easily, if we, if we had 10 layout blinds, we could have killed the 10-man limit. Lights out like that. So definitely don't. Don't hunt with more people than you have for layout blinds or, you know, you can fit in your pip line. Going off of the same thing. If you're going to be water hunting for early goose, if you're going to be hunting from a boat, or this, I guess, also goes into duck season. I know there's probably not a single person out there that has a duck boat that has not overloaded it. My boat right over here is four persons or 660 pounds. You find me four duck hunters stripped down buck naked that way, less than 660 pounds, and I would be pretty shocked. We made the mistake of bringing five guys out, probably 10, 12 dozen decoys, five guns, ammo, calls, snacks, everything, and uh, actually sink the boat. So don't overload your boat. At least obey the, the people aspect. And uh, needless to say, three, four of the people on the boat were not that small, myself included. Anywho, third tip for early goose hunting. I'm guilty of this one, but luckily up here our birds are fairly stupid. Um, local UP birds. You don't have to call that much for goose hunting. I've been, I mean, I got a new call. Obviously, you don't have to spend too much, but started killed a lot of birds last year over this Canada hammer. I think this was like a $20, $30 call. Could make it sound relatively like a goose. Definitely called too much, but uh, invested in the zinc call of death. I think this one was like 60, 70 bucks on Cabela's website. Luckily at Cabela's point, so that's pretty much free money, right? 
It sounds a lot more like a goose, but the advantage of this call compared to the Canada Hammer that's got a whole bunch of chew spit in it is this one takes a lot less air to break over the reed. Early goose season, geese aren't that vocal. You don't need to be that vocal with them. The biggest thing is a couple of honks, a couple of clucks, just to even, you know, if they're, depending on where they're flying, get them to turn. You get them coming your way, just wait, just wait. If they veer off left or right, maybe give them another honk, cluck and moan, something like that, and just get them back on target. There's no reason to be reefing on reefing on the goose call from the second you see them until the second that they, they come in or to the second you don't see them anymore. Anywho, I don't know. Didn't really plan to make this vlog, but uh, pulled all the decoys out of the shed. So I started to get super, super excited for goose hunting. And I'm currently waiting on a new trolling motor to come into the mail. Not sure how much more fishing, fishing, fishing we're gonna do. Maybe a little bit more fall bass fishing, probably two or three times if we can get out of duck hunting or are willing to take the time off of duck hunting. We have the spot, we'll catch some big bass. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more bow fishing. Found a pretty good spot up here and hoping, hoping to at least make Mm, half dozen dozen more bow fishing videos before obviously we get right back into ice fishing up here and uh, there will be quite a few ice fishing videos starting to mull over some ideas some stuff we haven't done before if you guys have any ideas for stuff that you'd like to see let us know hopefully one two three or something in one of those tips was helpful for you guys <sighs> every time i look into the garage and look at the decoys it just makes me excited for about two Two and a half, three weeks away from opening day of goose season. Going out, doing some more scouting tomorrow. Get some more permission for some more property. Pretty excited. Going to stop rambling on. If you guys like this video, thank you for your support. As always, until next time, happy adventures. Mm -hmm.